What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial, I'm be showing you guys how to create this zoom in effect using AI. So obviously you're gonna need some sort of clip to be able to do this transition with. So ideally you wanna have some footage that is shot outside. I'm not totally sure how this would work, like if the camera was inside a building or something, uh, just because like when you're zooming out, I don't really know how the AI would like go through a building, but you can go ahead and try it for yourself. I haven't really messed with it uh, on my own, but yeah, I just have this shot inside of this football stadium right here. and Basically, what you want to do is go to the very start of your frame and then you just want to export that out. So inside of Premiere Pro, there's this little plus button and you can add this camera, the export frame into your toolbar. You just drag it in there. I already have it in, so I can just click this, export it to whatever I want. I'll just do frame one uh, test and then just make the format JPEG and then select where you want it to be exported to then hit OK. Then we're going to go on to Google and search up Higgsfield.ai. I'll have it linked down below too if you want to go ahead and use it. Not sponsored. I literally just found this because like this is what everyone's basically using it for. Um, I mean, there's some other like built in presets so you can use AI, but the most popular one is this Earth zoom out. So yeah, just go here and create an account. You have like two free uh, trial credits. So click the Earth zoom out, click generate. And inside of here, you want to go ahead and just hit upload image and then open up that first frame that you exported out of Premiere Pro or honestly you could do this in any program, but yeah, I'm just using Premiere Pro and just let that upload. And for the prompt, we can leave this blank because it actually generates a prompt as you can see over here. It analyzes your footage and creates a prompt that works best for yeah, your footage um, or I guess the frame, but it's gonna be creating footage here. Once we hit generate, uh, you can leave the end frame to optional. Uh, you don't have to actually add anything here. And then you just want to go ahead and hit generate, but I did already run out of credits, but what it would do is like show that it's loading. It'll take like 10 to 15 minutes to process. But once it's done, you should get a render that looks something like this. And this is basically the effect we're going for. Obviously it is zooming out. So you could have this effect to zoom out, but a lot of people are having it zoom in for the intro and whatnot for their videos. And the easiest way to do that is just reverse it. So yeah, once you have your video, then just go up here to this little download button and then it'll just save to your computer. Then we can go back inside of Premiere Pro and import that into our project. And as you can see, this is what it looks like inside of Premiere Pro. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag my footage over so I have enough space for this intro. Jeez, I actually need to drag this over a little bit more. Just like that. So now we have that intro clip of that AI generated video. And then obviously it goes to this clip that we want to transition into. Like I said, it is backwards and it's zooming out. So, so we want to go ahead and right click this video layer and go to speed duration and reverse speed, hit okay. Now you can see your clip is now in reverse and it's a bit laggy here, but yeah, honestly that looks super smooth just like that. I don't really like how it slows down when it gets to right around here. I feel like it's going a bit too slow into that transition. So I'm just gonna create a really quick speed ramp and just for this end, I'm gonna speed it up just a bit and then easy ease this. So it just, stays at a more consistent speed like that. I think it looks a bit smoother and transitions well into our actual footage. So you could honestly just go ahead and leave it as is. But what I like to do is add an adjustment layer. So you can go over here and add adjustment layer, hit OK. I'm just going to overlay this a few frames before my clip transitions and I don't need this full adjustment layer. And I like to add my own shake presets. You probably have some shake presets that you've already used or plugins. But if you don't, you can go ahead and download mine in the description below. Um, they're just a Tylo Shake Pack here. Super easy to download and install. There's even a video explaining how to use these presets as well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Go To Shake 4, drag it onto that adjustment layer. And let's see, I'm going to go one, two, three, I guess four frames. We'll see how that looks from the transition. So the adjustment layer is going to start a bit before. Like as you can see, there's honestly a pretty smooth transition, but there is a noticeable cut from that AI video to our footage. So this adjustment layer with a shake is just going to add a little bit more motion to help smooth out everything. Let's go ahead and play this back and see what that looks like. So yeah, honestly, just a super clean and simple shake. You could even drag it over just a little bit more maybe. And yeah, we can go ahead and render this out just to see what the final image looks like. Um, you could even speed this up so you could have the whole like zoom in effect just be a lot quicker um, like this which also looks super cool. So yeah, go ahead and mess with it yourself and just kind of create it like your own. Cause obviously a lot of people are doing this. You want to stand out from what everyone else is doing. So implement this into your video in your own unique way. 
and just have fun using this AI tool. And yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. But this is basically how people are creating this AI zoom in effect inside of their videos. And I, yeah, I'm just using Premiere Pro here, but you could use literally anything After Effects. Um, I don't know. <laughs> cap cut i guess to create this effect but if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future then go ahead and subscribe like the video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace out